Investing in a self-reliant, strong defense industry is crucial for any nation. It's time for the Philippines to step up and empower itself in this critical sector. By building a robust domestic defense industry, we can ensure our national security and protect our sovereignty. Currently, we heavily rely on imports for our defense needs, equipment, technologies, and even maintenance. This not only drains us economically but also creates dependence on foreign powers. To become self-reliant, we must invest in our own capabilities and technologies. Developing our defense industry will not only boost our economy but also create numerous job opportunities for our people. It will revitalize traditional industries like shipbuilding, aerospace, and electronics, and drive innovation in cutting-edge technologies. By investing in research and development, we can foster a culture of innovation and creativity within our defense sector. Investing in our defense industry will also strengthen our relationships with other countries. We can become a reliable partner for defense collaborations, export our indigenous defense products, and contribute to international peacekeeping initiatives. By standing on our own feet, we can build alliances based on mutual respect and shared interests. Together, let's take pride in our self-reliance and empower our nation. Investing in the Philippine defense industry is not just an investment in our defense capabilities, but an investment in our future. Let's build a strong, independent nation that can defend itself and contribute to global security. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the Philippine defense industry and other national developments. In this video, we delve into the topic of investing in self-reliance within the Philippine defense industry. With the title, Empowering Self-Reliance, Investing in the Philippine Defense Industry, we embark on an insightful journey discussing the importance of fostering self-sufficiency in defense. Within this discussion, we explore the various aspects of the Philippine defense industry, its current state, and the potential for growth and development. We emphasize the significance of investing in domestic defense capabilities, highlighting the benefits of reducing reliance on external sources for defense equipment and technologies, through expert analysis and thought-provoking insights. We shed light on the economic and national security advantages stemming from self-reliance. Witness how the Philippine defense industry can make significant strides in innovation, employment generation, and resource allocation, ultimately contributing to the overall progress of the nation. Join us on this educational and captivating journey as we uncover the untapped potential in investing in self-reliance within the Philippine defense industry. Don't miss out on the opportunity to deepen your knowledge and be part of the dialogue surrounding this critical topic. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on defense, national security, and industry insights. Together, let's empower self-reliance in the Philippine defense industry. Philippine-owned defense industry IDE, P1, B Seed Fund Set, Manila, Philippines, Senators have proposed earmarking P1 billion as seed money to finance the development of the country's own defense industry in the wake of China's more aggressive activities in the West Philippine Sea. The Senators, led by Senate President Juan Miguel Zubairi, jointly filed Senate Bill No. 2455, or the Self Reliant Defense Posture, SRDP, Revitalization Act, to encourage businesses to invest in the local. Manufacturing of Defense Equipment, I, T is imperative to revitalize the country's self-reliance defense posture program and to fully harness the potential of the defense industry at a time when security threats are imminent and continue to evolve. The bill read in part, toward this end, the state shall undertake to develop the defense industry and its capability to locally produce advanced weaponry and equipment for its armed forces through technology transfer, partnerships with and incentivizing the private sector, Joining Zubairi as co-authors of the bill are Senate President Pro Tempore Loren Lagarda, Senate Majority Leader Joel Villanueva and Senators Ramon Ravilla Jr., Jingoy Estrada, Emi Marcos and Sherwin Gachalian, under. The measure, a new unit will be created within the Department of National Defense, DND, to oversee the implementation of the program and all related projects promoting the domestic production of military supplies. It said the proposed office of the Undersecretary for Defense Technology Research and Industry Development will be responsible for conducting research and development studies and in crafting policies. The new DND office will also be tasked with spearheading the collaboration between the relevant state agencies with private entities in ensuring the success of the country's SRDP program. To be honest, I think maybe 90 to 95% of our defense needs have to be bought abroad, Zubairi said. 
we cannot depend just on our allies. We also have to be able to produce for our own needs in our own time. We understand our terrain. We understand our waters, our skies, our threats, and our people the best. So, we can develop equipment that best suits our needs, he added, during the public hearings by the Senate Committee on National Defense and Security, Peace, Unification and Reconciliation chaired by Estrada, the DND said the majority of the country's defense acquisitions are done through government-to-government -government procurement. In 2022, military-related imports totaled approximately 305 million U.S. dollars. While arms-related exports amounted only to 85 million U.S. dollars. We aim to cure this significantly lopsided trade imbalance by providing incentives and government support to the local defense industry, and in the process stimulate job generation, promote transfer of advanced technologies, and expand our export sector, Estrada said in his sponsorship speech, this representation firmly believes that we have enough resources we need in our midst, manpower assets, natural resources, and Filipino ingenuity forged by our long history and tradition of seafaring and craftsmanship. No doubt, we have the capability to develop our own. We just have to throw our full support and lay down policies that will catalyze its growth and exercise political will and strategic foresight to sustain its development, he added. Estrada said the SRDP program was initially conceived and implemented during the 1970s which successfully met the basic requirements of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, through joint ventures and partnerships with the private sector to produce all-terrain light vehicles, radio for the operating troops, rifles, pistols and small arms ammunition, and textile industry that supplied close to 100 percent of the military's clothing requirements. Securing Philippine sovereignty calls for self-reliance in defense, Senate President, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubairi vowed to address the remaining gaps in the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines, committing to increasing its budget. According to Zubairi, the Philippines is among the top importers of firearms in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, spending $338 million in arms imports in 2021 alone. A closer comparison would be Indonesia, which in 2021 allocated 3.9% of its overall government spending towards military expenditure, not far from the 3.8% that we directed towards the military. And yet Indonesia's arms imports came in at only 68 million US dollars. A far cry from our 338 million dollars, Zubairi pointed out, according to him, this means that Indonesia's manufacturing industry is big on arms and armaments so the country only imports a small amount, this prompted the senator to stress the need for the Philippines to be able to produce its own needs on its own time, we have the resources. We have the manpower, and the skills. And I am quite hopeful that we also now have the political will to push this through. We discussed this with the president, 